boy oh boy the amount of time money and effort we spend in making our lessons very beautiful the images colorful fonts layout and design everything is great in fact i know this for a fact because i do develop e-learning just moving one of those pixels into 100 pages so that the pixels should be consistent it's a pain in the neck so i know how it feels to get many of these images so we want images because we want to wow the learner we want to engage the learner we want to impart an important idea so we have different font styles and we have people talking to each other but usually they don't work why because they do not represent something that the learner can link into or can hook up into. So for example, the definition of communication is blah, 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 big, bold content. Who cares about the definition of communication? Eh, some of you will disagree with me. But when you have highly bulleted points or two people talking because you're simply saying in your content, talk to somebody effectively, and then you have two people talking to each other that is not noticed by the learner. Why? Because the photos and the images don't represent something that will impact there. If you go to the flip side of it, once you add stories or incident or situations, then you're able to capture the most fantastic movie, the most fantastic video, the most fantastic images and fonts in order to communicate the story. I don't know if you remember the, the movie of, uh, uh, you know, this very, very old uh, movie about the only thing that, a horror movie, the only thing that you can see on the screen is a knife. It's only a knife, it's black and white. But because it's only a knife, it suggests something to a lot of people that something can go wrong. So, photos, videos, and images are powerful only if you're trying to communicate a real life story or an experience.